Hi everybody, welcome to uh, issue two of Masks Neighbourhood. Uh, our heroes are assembled, I'll get them to briefly introduce themselves uh, in a moment. <coughs> uh, I'm Dave, we are running this on the gauntlet, we are using the uh, gauntlet's inclusivity policy, we are using X cards, lines and veils, uh, we have set up um, all of our safety tools and we've done a check-in with what we're trying to get out of the game, uh, because game safety is important, poison kills. Um, this is a, a game sort of influenced uh, by the Marvel Knights comic sort of line. Uh, so it's a little more street level and it takes place between uh, the fictional neighborhoods of Tritown and the village uh, where our heroes are trying to make a difference or get paid depending on you know who they are. Uh, and with that in mind, let's uh, introduce let's introduce our characters uh, and this time we're going to go in uh, reverse character keeper order and i'm going to ask uh Garwin to introduce oriflame first just briefly please uh i'm playing oriflame uh, oriflame uh, Is uh, isabella torres uh, the daughter of a, uh, lo uh, a local corrupt judge who's taken up uh, exception to the unfairness of the world and uh, has set out to try and Make the world a better place. Uh, she's very. She's uh, playing with the uh, delinquent uh, playbook, and uh, it's very much uh, using alien tech that she stole uh, for all her uh, all of her powers. And to do the mute game. Uh, so uh, great, thank you uh, for that going. Uh, Pavel, can you introduce us to Quiver? Uh, hello, I'm Pavel, uh, I'm playing uh, Quiver, Cyrus Kilgore, who is uh, the Beacon Playbook. Uh, Cyrus is, uh, uh, is, is living in the, in, in the village, in the better part of the neighborhood, and his dad, Zach Kilgore, is the successful businessman, who, un who unbeknown to Cyrus is also probably some kind of villainous uh, villain uh, in, the, in the city. Uh, and uh, Cyrus is always, has always lived to fulfill his parents' He's that high hopes, uh, but this is the thing he wants to do for, for himself. He wants to become the hero of the city, even though he's quite almost without any, any superpowers except he's training with the bow and some phasing we have not yet seen. So maybe today uh, we'll see. And as a beacon, I have uh, my uh, my help. I have help of my loyal uh, dog Sparky, who is a big black well-trained German shepherd. Uh, and my drives left for today's session, we'll see, is punch someone I shouldn't and help teammate when they need me the most. So we'll see about that as well. Excellent. Uh, and next is Laura playing Knox. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Laura, she, her pronouns, and I'm playing Gem Barges, AKA Knox, uh, any pronouns. Um, Knox is using the Janus playbook. Um, yeah, Knox, uh, their superpower is kind of, is the ability to manipulate and disappear into shadows. Um, this kind of came about, um, kind of just from their own personal feelings of like being very much in the shadows and then they developed the superpower. Uh, they have a little sister, Kitty Barges, who is, it's very much us against the world. Um, but yeah, uh, Knox just wants to make the world a better place, uh, but tries to avoid the limelight when possible. Which is not something we can say about our last character, uh, played by Will, who is dynamic. Yeah, so... Uh... Oh, my pronouns are he, him, as are those of my character, Dynamic, uh, Caleb Jones, who I don't think anyone is ever going to call him Caleb apart from his family, to be honest, because he is very publicly Dynamic, the star uh, superhero of Tritown. Um, and, you know, clearly the star of the whole show, but certainly in his own head. <laughs> that sounds uh, about right. Okay. So uh, last time, um, last time um, you managed to get um, uh, Handsome Charlie to the trial on time, but they um, were um, they were uh, uh, acquitted due to uh, tampering with evidence, uh, and we had that final cutscene of Handsome Charlie's uh, plane exploding over the city. 
Um, and let's frame the scene. It's about five days, let's say about four days out from Christmas. Uh, snow is down. Um, it, uh, the neighborhood is has got all of its decorations and it's readiness up for this various different uh, holiday uh, festivals. So you'll see um, the neighbor is, is festive and ready. Uh, and a truck sort of uh, heads past um, the shop that is just downstairs from uh, where uh, Dynamics parents live. So Dynamic, you 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 had a, a guy there who um, uh, owned a shop there, didn't you? That your parents know because your parents are trying to move to Florida, if I remember correctly. Is that the? Uh, that is right. Yes. Um, yeah, and the uh, the shop owner is selling up and moving down down to Florida as well. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to sort of say it's like a little bit of a, a bodega type shop and, and he's just that having newspapers exactly. uh, yeah. arrive. Do we, have we named it? Or would you like to name it? Um, let's call it uh, Rodriguez. Uh, best Cubano sandwiches in all of Tritown. Excellent. Um, so the newspapers arrive and, um, <clears throat> uh, and then we can see there is a... Um, the front page of the paper uh, says, uh, handsome Charlie's uh, um, plane destroyed. Um, and you sort of see the uh, wreckage, over the, sort of the example of it coming down over the river. Uh, and um, <coughs> you can see that uh, Oriflame is named as a person of interest in the case. Uh, it takes his sunglasses down, pops it back up and uh, says like, uh, I'll take that breakfast sandwich to go, uh, please, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then outside, like, <laughs> or if like, maybe not, you know, maybe not the uh, thingy, maybe like a uh, a DM to or if flames burner. <laughs> Clearly, she uses rather than an, uh, any on the thing, on the grid type thing. Uh, picture of the front page, WTF. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, your your as you look, take out your phone, you, you do spot that your um your uh, f local fan club is uh, uh, still up uh, in arms, uh, and there's uh, on the um, th there's a there's a Twitter thread. You know, it's got serious when it's a Twitter thread, yeah. right? Um, and you've got the uh, you've got your fan club um, uh, leader uh, Zane Billingsby, who's saying like. Um, Dynamic used to, could have been a contender. Dynamic was good enough to go for the, uh, uh, you know, the Titans or the Vanguard. Why is he hanging out with these losers? Uh, <laughs> and there's a graffitied picture of uh, of Knox, especially there. Uh, I'm gonna angrily tweet back that uh, you know that the Titans, the Vanguard, man, they don't deserve me. You see what mess they left this neighborhood in? I'm better than any of those put together. And these guys are the real deal. You know, anyone who was a true member, a true supporter of Tritown, who really loved this, this, this city would know that. You know what? See me in the park. I'm going to show you what, uh, what the team, what my, I'm going to show you dynamic. Like, it's time for another display of dynam dynamism. Like, uh, and I'm going to do some sort of, uh, you know, like stunt thing in the park at some point, kind of a, okay. a demonstration of powers and rally like sort of event, signing, a signing, that sort of stuff. You know? So you're calling out uh, uh, people to the park with a time and a date and a public location. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That can't possibly go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Knox, what does... What do the holidays look like in the Barges household? Um, so uh, I, I think that uh, they don't really celebrate Christmas. They're, mm -hmm. they're a bunch of atheists. So they're like, no, it's a consumerist holiday. <laughs> Hallmark, no. <laughs> um, so they very much don't buy into it. I think that they... Um, they, they, they kind of go on business as usual, but I think that uh, Kitty tries to bring in some some of the holiday spirit, right? Tries to set up a tree, that kind of thing. Cool. So 
that seems that seems appropriate, even though you're not uh, celebrating. Uh, uh, Kitty has left a note for you, uh, which is, uh, I have a secret plan uh, to bake um, uh, to bake cookies and make candy canes. Uh, meet me in the kitchen stand. Um, and then we see the uh, the friend request uh, that you we left at the end of last time. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, from Juanita Sanchez of UCNN News. Um, what does Knox do with that friend request? Um, I think that Knox is probably going to accept it just because, like, I'm assuming that other kids, like, from Knox's school kind of follows that station too mm -hmm. so like shouldn't be too weird right like there's no way that they could be signaling me out how, how could they legit uh so that uh that friend request is accepted <clears throat> uh down in the kitchen uh kitty has uh as she you see her stuffing something into her pocket as you uh, come in. When she recognizes it's you, she pulls back out the uh, the Santa hat um, and puts it back on her head. And the the, the table is 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 out, ready for uh, for making uh, you know, Christmas cookies. And she says, "Look, if these are like multi-denominational, uh, and we're not single out any one particular uh, uh, religion or celebration, that's got to be okay, right?" Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Kit, uh, Knox is going to step into the room and just kind of like shake their head. <laughs> like, Kitty, what? Why? But they're just cookies. I'm not going to. Don't believe in Santa. I, I don't think. There's uh, anyone who's born in a manger, but I would like to have uh, some Christmas cookies like all my real friends. You're not going to stop me, are you? No, I'm just going to stand here and judge you. <laughs> because you're such a knock. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to... <clears throat> Stand here and silently judge you. Buying into buying into the whole buying into that whole thing. <laughs> Thought I raised you better than this kitty. She she uh to squint her eyes at you go say, when I make these cookies, you better not be expected to get any. Uh because these these cookies are for uh people who contribute, not like you, knock. <laughs> Uh, she's obviously ribbing at you, but she she's like she then sort of cracks uh, two eggs into a bowl and says, "You're going to stand and judge, or you're going to whisk." Uh, Jen's going to kind of laugh and like uh, grab the grab the eggs from Kitty and just start whisking them together. <coughs> yeah, we can pretend this is a science experiment. It has nothing to do with Christmas. So we'll turn the page uh, on that at the moment. Um, what about Cyrus? What does what does the Kilgore uh, family look like when they are? Um, do they celebrate any sort of uh, religious festival at Christmas? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, it's it's typical. Uh, we don't believe, but we still do the the holidays because those are like days off, and it's a and, and it's an opportunity to meet with the family. So uh, yeah, I suppose uh, that Zach, my dad Zach is uh, as always busy with work, so everything falls to to my mom and uh, and Cyrus uh, to prepare. Okay, <coughs> so. We have Ellen, who is your stepmother, who knows uh, Cyrus's uh, secret identity. Um, she is uh, said she's got like she's 
desperately trying to untangle the lights for the, the uh, tree. He said, can you believe your father wanted to bring in like professional decorators to put the tree up? I was like, that's not the point of Christmas. You've got to put it up yourself. <clears throat> and she sort of, you know, because this is, you know, there actually says Max, uh, it says a Marvel Knight. So there is sort of a, she, there is a sort of a shit as she realizes she's got the uh, lights even more tangled. Um, <clears throat> And says, "This is going to be like uh, our uh, our first Christmas all together because you know you know your dad often has to travel for work, so it's going to be so nice to have everyone at home." Uh, yeah, I'm also really happy that he's uh, staying this year and that he will finally join us for Christmas. It's you know it's it really feels different to actually receive a present for him and and have him present while I open this and not like last year where he wasn't even here. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm really excited. And, that, and as for the professional crew to, to set up the tree, uh, well, I, I hope we can manage uh, even better than the, than the professional crew. So uh, here, let me help you with, the, with, with untangling those lights. Awesome. We see Sparky at the back of the panel uh, uh, carrying tinsel uh, across the uh, the room. Um, <clears throat> so your mother, you know, your mother says, "What what does what do you think your father's favorite meal is going to be for uh, Christmas Eve dinner?" Uh, you know the amount of of time he he puts in the gym. I suppose he 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 likes the chicken the most. <clears throat> So, can you um, once we've got this done, can you head down um and put some orders then in at the um down at the butchers? I know he likes the organic stuff. Uh, yeah, sure. Do do you have a list for me? Because I I'm not sure like how much of everything we need. He uh he she gives you a list and um uh, gives you and sort of ruffles your hair and says said. <laughs> It was really cool of you to stand up for your uh, your your friend last night. Um, dynamic. Do you think Do you think he's going to want? Um, you know, I'm sure he's going to be totally stoked uh, to get a um, a deal like this. Um, your dad's going to do so much good work in the neighbourhood. There's all those rickety old sort of dangerous buildings down there. There'll be much better ones uh, we redevelop. Uh, well, to be honest, I'm not sure what. Uh... What that what that is actually up to, uh, so I I only hope that he can like sign up that dynamic for a good deal because he really needs some some support you know that to have all of this gear working. So uh, do you know what is the 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 that plan with this like revitalization project? I think so, sort of some of the uh, areas that were damaged and some of the areas that were run down down in Tritown. He's got a plan to build a uh, new sort of uh, apartment blocks and condos and revitalize the area. Um, you know, it, it, wow. it's it's just so it's so depressing down in Tritown. It's sort of like it really de needs a lick of paint. You know what I mean? Uh, well, you know there is the skate park. Uh, uh, I will maybe I'll be asking to like. Enlarge it ten times so that all the kids have some have this cool new skate park uh, to <coughs> to to use. Uh, although I really like the feel of this town, like all the people. Uh, but yeah, it can definitely use a new paint. Oh, that and place I, is is gotta go. It's so dangerous. It's just like a place where where. Uh, it's just a place where where uh, village kids go and get uh, drugs from Tri Town, uh, you know, troublemakers. No worries. Or, no. no worries. I'm getting this 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 drug distribution under under control. I scared off some uh, some 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 dealers last time. I will. I'm keeping this under control. No worries. Uh, and that's that's the point where uh, you uh, see um, you see dynamics because you follow dynamic clearly on on the Twitter and mm -hmm. where you see dynamics uh, tirade of how he's going to uh, sort it all out um, at, down at the. Uh, down at the park. Um, and uh, oh yeah, go. Uh, so, mom, I, I hope you can like un untangle all of those lights. I will. I will go place the order. Maybe you know do some other, some other shopping. I'll be back in like two hours. So uh, come on, uh, come on, Sparky, let's go. She sort of uh, <clears throat> uh, 
so you see the scene as she you leave and she looks at the, uh, at the t all the tied up knights and uh, Sparky at this point is sort of uh, is um, gnawing away at a Christmas bauble uh, and she sort of as you leave she sort of shakes her head and says I can't believe you left maybe I will get uh, the um, uh, the professional decorators in <laughs> Yeah, I probably like call the Sparky from the outside so that he goes with me and we probably like see him squeeze from the, through this like too small dog door mm -hmm. in the kitchen and he's like, like squeezing through it and, and yeah, and I like jump on my bicycle uh, and I off go, uh, place the order and then to dynamic meeting. Yeah. Um, okay, so then I think uh, we... Uh, flip to uh, Aura Flame, where um, you can see uh, you've obviously picked up the paper uh, and that the um, detectives at Precinct uh, 23 are, are looking for you. But where where do we find Aura Flame where we see this? I think uh, Aura Flame's just had a run in with some police have seen them on seen them on the street, and she's. Uh, she's run away and she's in one of these big storm sewers actually reading the paper trying to figure out what the hell's going on. So you're in the bookstore, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> um, and remind me, does, um, does Mike Kovacs know that you're uh, Aura Flame? Yes. Uh, Mike <coughs> Kovacs does know. So there is, I think, um, a vinyl record player uh, playing uh, Bing Crosby uh, in sort of putting music through the store. And he sort of looks at the paper and looks up at you and says, um, something you want to discuss, Isabella? Uh, hi, Mike. Can, can I use the back room? Sure. And look over my shoulder and... Oh, what the hell? Have you seen this paper? She said, he sort of looks in and says, uh, he sort of taps and fills up his pipe as you're, you're sort of talking, going, yep. <laughs> either, uh, either you've got a, a little bit more authoritarian in the way that you deal with crime around here, or someone's setting you up for a fall. Well, I've been kicking a lot more uh, arse recently, but I, I, I don't kill anyone. I mean, seriously, what the hell? Said <clears throat> so, he was one of uh, the seats in the five families, right? I, yeah. I would, I would suggest that someone is. Um, <coughs> Someone uh, has got it in for you, kid. You cause a disturbance. You're the easiest one to go after. The anarchist, the troublemaker. Uh, discredit you, they discredit the team. That's how they always work. That's what the system does. Mike, I... You, you realise why I do this, don't you? I mean, just... Just like Aristotle said, oh God's sake, this is ridiculous. I can't even go outside without, without cops chasing me down the goddamn street. I've done nothing fucking wrong here. He puts his hand on your shoulder and says, I believe in you. <coughs> and um, he says, oh, you make a difference around here. Maybe you could be a little more uh, visibly making a difference at the time uh, that, you know, at this time of year, hey? Um, and he's going to tell you who you are. He's trying to reinforce this. Okay. You're going to accept his kind words of wisdom? <laughs> Mike, I... If people see me do what I do, they'll want to know how I do it. Also, my mother will be 
my mother will be a target. I may not get on with her. I don't want to hurt her. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, reject that uh, influence. Okay. Where's the link to the dice roller, by the way? Uh, it should be in the safety and support tool. Let me, uh, let me put it into a chat channel. Oh, ah, yeah, got it. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <coughs> oh, that didn't go well. Um, what's it rolled roll. with? It's it's a flat roll. Okay, so that would be a five. Okay, so uh, uh, on a uh, when you fail to uh, reject someone' influence. Um, uh, the words hit you hard. Uh, mark a condition, and the GM uh, will um, mark your labels. What condition uh, are you going to mark? I think I'm afraid. Okay. So uh, Mike sort of lights up his pipe, and he's got two deep puffs, and says, <coughs> and he says, Isabella Torres, I said, you have just... Uh, helped out the captain of Precinct 23 and you don't think that maybe you can have uh, uh, a little bit of a um, a little bit of a hook there to figure out what's going on use the system, stand up for yourself <clears throat> and I think you're better than that and uh, he's gonna uh, mark your superior uh, down and your saviour up so I don't, yeah, I don't want this. You know, Aristotle's uh, Aristotle's all uh, uh, good, right? But let me tell you what uh, a great thinker uh, once said: uh, Christmas has a way of bringing the best out in everybody. That's what Bing Crosby said, and that's what I want you to think about, kid. <clears throat> Come on, let's get a hot chocolate. We'll figure this out. Wasn't wasn't he arrested? Bing Crosby. Yeah. Who hasn't been arrested? No, I mean, he's in prison now, isn't he? <laughs> no, you're thinking about the uh, other guy, and uh, we'll flip the page there. <coughs> right, cool. Folks, can you just give me uh, five minutes? My uh, asthma is playing this morning, so I just want to go and take some uh, Ventolin, and I will be back uh, very shortly. So let's just take a five minute break there before we hit the, uh, the next scene. Sure. But let's uh, restart. As we see, sort of the uh, the panel fade out from uh, books and stuff. Uh, you're pretty, there's something at the top of uh, a building looking down. Uh, if uh, and we see uh, the framing on uh, Bluebird looking down at the shop. <clears throat> but let's cut back to. Um, Let's cut back to the barges household and the kitchen. Uh, how 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 uh, well do you think the the cookie uh, uh, baking has gone, Jen? We are very poor cooks. We should not be allowed in the kitchen. It is a mess. <laughs> There's more flour on us than there is in the bowl. Like, yeah, I think I think sort of uh, you, you can you can get you, you, Kitty sort of looking at you and yeah, it's covered and has egg in her. Uh, hair and um, at some point I'm pretty sure this this, um, uh, this deteriorated into uh, her having a pipe bag of icing and squirting it at you uh, and he says but this way she's arguing we're making our own cookies then we're not supporting capitalism and that's the point that we see uh, one of your parents come into the kitchen uh, uh, and look at the devastation which one uh, which one is it Uh, I think I think it's probably uh, dad. You know. Uh. Have Have you Have you named your father yet? Um, and if not, we can just it. refer to him as dad at the moment. It's Robbie. <laughs> it's R Robbie Barges. Um, so he's just got this look, uh, and you sort of see he's the devastation. And looks to you, Jem, and says, um, do you want to explain what's going on here, young lady? 
you know, I, I really think that uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, what, what more explanation could you need, Pops? Uh, <clears throat> well, uh, one of the things I'm trying to figure out, uh, and he points to the ceiling, is like, why is there icing on the ceiling? <clears throat> Where else would it be? I think that's a great place for it. Doesn't it look nice up there? He smiles and looks at you and says, um, says, and nothing, nothing to do with your younger sister and the icing bag that she has in her hand. I, I don't, I don't see how you could connect those two. I really don't. Uh huh. So what I suggest is uh, that before your uh, mother uh, gets back from work that this kitchen is uh, spotless um, and we ensure that uh, um, <clears throat> we ensure that um, and she points at Kitty, points at Kitty that whatever uh, this um, uh, is here um, it's like it's like you're some sort of <sighs> clear it up he said, you know, I expect you to be a, a little bit more, um, um, I expect you to be a, a little bit more in control when things like this happen, Jem. Uh, and he's telling you who you, you are. He's going to shift your labels. Are you accepting uh, fatherly uh, finger wagging or you're rejecting their influence? I'm going to try to reject that influence. Jen is not put together whatsoever. <laughs> they are a hot mess. <laughs> so you rolled to reject influence, right? That's right, yes. It's just flat 2d6 roll to reject influence. Yeah, so that was a nine. Cool. So uh, on uh, 79, you choose one from the reject someone influence list. You clear conditional mark potential immediately to and then act to prove them wrong. Shift your own labels or cancel your influence uh, on them. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a moment to think about that as we... Uh, oh. We will shift. You muted yourself, David. Uh, how did I manage to do that? All right, try that. Um, yeah, I'll shift the lens. Um, um, I think just before you sort of uh, uh, lead the uh, the store and you've got your sandwich, um, we see Mr. Rodriguez. Um, he's uh, he goes, oh. <coughs> He goes, hey, if it isn't, uh, if it isn't our local superhero, how are you doing, kid? Uh, you know me, Mr. Rodriguez, always good, always, always on top of things. And he sort of, he sort of said, as you're trying to like pay for it, no, no, your, your, your money's no good here. Uh, you look out for the neighborhood, you get a free sandwich. Uh, you sure, Mr. Rodriguez, you know I'm good for it. And I, you know, it's all about supporting local businesses and all of those things, man. It's, it's, no, it's okay. Um, you know, besides. Oh, where, were this free, where were these free sandwiches when I was in high school, man? <laughs> they said, it, it, times are tougher when you were in high school. But now, now he leans forward and says, I've had the incredible offer for this place. Uh, someone's buying the shop. I'm going to go to Florida after all with your parents. Oh, yeah? Well, good on you, Mr. Rodriguez. Who's buying I uh, so don't know. Someone from uh, up uh, in the village. I think in the Kilgrove or uh, something like that. But they've got to. They're gonna. They're gonna buy up this block. Uh, they're gonna do it out nice. They're gonna turn this place into uh, one of those fancy coffee shops. It's gonna be great. Uh, <clears throat> you know, anyone wants fancy coffee shops, they can go up to the village. But they want the best sandwich in town. They gotta come to Rodriguez. <clears throat> yeah, times change. Times change. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, living it up now down in in Florida. Uh, orange juice and uh, you know, live healthy. It'll be good. 
should have missed this place. But, you know, sun, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll miss it too. I better have more of these sandwiches while I still can. Uh, and hey, I hope that I'm happy that you got the offer, but I hope they do something interesting with it rather than just another one of those hipster coffee shops, you know? Yeah, whatever pays the bills, right? And as you sort of, we see you leaving uh, the shop um, with the sandwiches about to go in your mouth, you're pretty sure you see uh, a monkey uh, in like a leather jacket and jeans and a bandana run straight past you. <laughs> uh, does it appear to be causing any kind of tr I think if it's not causing any kind of trouble I, I just take a picture of it and I'm going to post that <laughs> on my uh, on my Twitter thing going like never change Tritown <laughs> like, no it, it doesn't seem to be causing any, any particular uh, uh, trouble but um, yeah it, it, it is definitely a chimpanzee uh, in a bandana um, that had just run past you with a, um, you know, a, a backwards uh baseball cap uh, on <laughs> head and I'm going to put the link to that into the chat window okay oh, it was one of those like you know people don't spot the monkey as they run it as it runs through the background of the, <laughs> the image kind of things yeah cool uh, yeah dynamic like I say dynamic is uh, not going to hunt down this chimpanzee he is just going to laugh and uh, shit post about it okay let's Let's just uh, uh, pull back to um, to Gem at the moment to see what uh, she chose. Yeah, so I think that Gem is going to uh, mark potential by immediately proving my father wrong. And I think that uh, she's going to do that by uh, throwing uh, one of the eggs at her dad and saying, anarchy. <laughs> Uh, I think as the uh, the egg uh, hits uh, him, um, he looks at uh, both you and Kitty and says, you are both grounded. Clear this mess up. Uh, and he sort of puts his hand out and says, bones. <clears throat> Kitty uh, looks at you and goes, what did you do that for? He said, Dynamic was going to pull some crazy stunt. I wanted to go and see that. Um, it's like, he's like so cute. Uh, and um, passes her phone over to your, her phone to your father. And then his hand is still extended to you waiting for your phone. <clears throat> um, I think the gem might try some illusion thing, like mm -hmm. with their shadows and like, pretend to be putting a, like a shadow phone in their hand but like not really it okay probably work. well that will be that will be an unleashing of your powers to see if that uh that pays off for you okay uh that's a nine so uh there is that's a nine there is there there are uh, because it, is it, that will mean it's unstable, uh, temporary, or you have to mark a condition. Uh, there is two team in the pool currently. If you want to, um, if you want to spend uh, your team selfishly, you know that that's okay. Uh, I think that it can be it can be unstable. Or temporary. Okay, I think we'll we'll make it uh, temporary at some point uh, later today. He will uh, figure it out, and we'll deal with the next uh, uh, family drama. <clears throat> um, and he sort of says, "I'm not joking. Clean this place up. Your mum works hard, and uh, she doesn't deserve to come back to this." <clears throat> He leaves at that point, uh, and like, Kitty, I think, looks at you and says, "Like, so, are we going to clean this place up, or are we going to cut out and go and see what dynamics going to do?" Since this was your idea, you're going to stay and clean this up, and I'm going to go. I'm pulling rank. <laughs> and I. Like, 
sort of points the icing gun at you and says, Knock, and uh, we will see a squirt of icing coming towards you as we uh, turn the page. <clears throat> Let's uh, frame the next scene, unless anyone wants to pull anything off. Uh, does anyone want to do anything before we have the, the, the scene with Dynamic doing whatever Dynamic's going to do? Anyone want to step in in time before this? Okay, who's who's uh, who's gone to the park then? Uh, who's not gone to the park? Everyone's going right. That's cool. Right. So there's a throng of about you know forty or fifty people. Um, it's been snowing pretty uh, heavily for you know the last couple of days, so there are there are plenty of snowmen uh, all over the place here, um, and we have. Uh, your 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 fan club uh, including uh zane billingsby um here um are people attending um other than dynamic who's who's attending in their in their superhero uh, id um and who's in their in their uh, civilian id let's check in with everyone i'm in, I'm in disguise cool because uh, uh, i'm trying to avoid uh, the police see me at the moment. Uh, we see, we see uh, Quiver putting, finishing to putting on the costume on on Sparky, and this time he came prepared. He has this like heaters, and on his hands so that uh, so, so that at least his hands are aren't freezing, and he finished to and he, and he's just finishing to put on the costume on the dog. <clears throat> cool. And how about Jam? Is she Jam or is she Knox? Uh, I think that she's Jem. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what did you call, you call yourself? The Gridlock Guardians, I think, is what you end up being called as a team. Is that correct? I'm in the chat window. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> so, what what's the plan dynamic? You can see your your. Um, I think it is like a, uh, you know, it's going to be a signing. I'm going to do like um, a flamboyant display of my powers, one might say. Um, and, you know, like, uh, you know, challenge anybody who uh, maybe like have a bit of a tirade against, like play into the rabble rouser a bit, a bit and play into the tirade of like uh, saying that, you know, like, uh, and I know I'm just like them and saying that, you know, like these are people from these streets, from this town, like the ain't no Vanguard going to come and save Tritown. You saw what happened when the big fights happened. They left this place in ruins. So the people like you, me and my team to, to rebuild it, you know, and uh, mixed in with uh, entertaining like uh, displays of electromagnetic, dynamic, electromagnetic control. Maybe uh, like punctuating the see what they did. Massive explosion in my hand, kind of thing. So it sounds like to me you're trying to sort of uh, get them back on side. Yeah. So, yeah. Let, let's provoke. Uh, let's provoke uh, Zane Bellingsby then, right, or something similar to that, because he's he's your he's uh, the one rabble rousing and uh, trash talking you. Oh, but sure I, right it could either be provoke or I could use my time for the show when yeah. you got an but and he would be one of the, the PC that I would probably name if I got a hit, basically. Mm -hmm. right. So mm, that is a six, I think. I'm not sure if yeah. I wrote it was on a one three and it rolled a one three exactly again. So it always confuses me and it's the same. Uh, do that's a six. Do you want to spend the point of team selfishly? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, no, you don't have to in this instance. Okay, I, I'm in the crowd, and when you're doing the whole thing of, of uh, fuck the uh, fuck the vanguard and uh, everyone here, I, I'm basically uh, getting people on site in the audience itself while still in my disguise. Nice. <clears throat> I've got a, uh, I've got some ringers in the crowd, basically, <laughs> like cheering me on. <laughs> yeah, nice. Cool. So that will hit to the seven to nine mark, then, right? Yes. Um, and I will uh, name the one NPC present. Let's say Zane Billingsby. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, who? Cool. I don't think. I think when we mentioned him on the Twitter thing, it was like that he was anonymous. But should we have him be publicly like? Like Flash yeah, Gordon was pretty. Uh, Flash Thompson was very like. Spidey's the number one guy. You can't talk about him. Yeah, I, I think very much that that's the model. Like, so he he had. Um, uh, yeah, his, his his Twitter uh his Twitter handle is dynamic fan uh um uh number one. Um and I sort of goes he goes, Yeah, I knew you hadn't turned on us. Yeah, you're the man. Yeah. Uh, uh and the crowd is sort of clapping and looking at your uh, uh everything that's going on here. That is of course the point where uh Billings B takes the opportunity uh to throw uh, a hefty snowball at Gem. <clears throat> so, uh, Gem, yeah, it, it, I think it's it's sort of taken you by surprise, and this is boof, as this heavy uh, snowball thumps you straight closer in the in the face. <clears throat> Zane, good morning. Lovely to see you too. <clears throat> I sort of he looks at you and he goes. You know, <laughs> Yeah, whatever. So this is a, this is a place for like uh, uh, fans are dynamic, not not people like you. You need to get out of here. I I don't I don't know. You you seem to have been uh, I've been I've been noticing your your comments. Um, you don't seem like you've been a fan a big fan of dynamic recently. Uh, he sort of. Uh, he can you know, sort of looks at dynamic looks at you go i just make sure dynamic uh, does what's right for the town dynamic listens to me we're like solid and you so you can see you can sort of see this dynamic if you're in the middle of your display that zane waves over to you and there's obviously a heated conversation between uh, him and uh, this uh, young girl but i don't think anyone knows that gem is not do they yet dynamic certainly doesn't no i think he does but yeah <laughs> hmm. I was going to uh, suggest if um, Dynamic saw the snowball being thrown at the thingy, he'd be like, "Whoa, hey man, you don't need to, you're going to pull her hair next? Like, oh, come on, Zane, get up here. Like, <laughs> you know, you can flirt on your own time, man. Like, <laughs> if that doesn't tread over uh, Knox's scene. Yeah. So like when you did that, and he, he, he look, he sort of like goes, told you, and he heads over to to see uh, dynamic and get the camera out doing the selfie. Yeah, uh, and I'm like, uh, hey there, miss, you stick around. I'll sign, I'll sign a t-shirt later. You can, you get a free one. <laughs> I think Jim is just kind of kind of like nod and then roll her eyes. Uh, is Kitty with you? Kind of like Hmm? Is Kitty with you? Mm -mm. Oh, okay, because I was going to say she'd be excited about the three T-shirt, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and at that point, I think I'm going to uh, throw a snowball at uh, Zayn myself. Because <laughs> I actually know Jen, uh, Jem in civilian. Well, so when he hits the stage? <clears throat> yeah. No. Uh, Actually, no. I, I thinking about it. Uh, when he when he goes up on stage, uh, when he actually gets up amongst the people, I'm going to use my illusions to make it look like he's got a giant spot right on the end of his nose. That, that that's weeping slightly. At least those I'm, powers, man. Sorry, wrong one. I'm rolling someone else's dice. And that would be a seven. So, uh, either market condition, or is it temporary or unstable? It's unstable. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, we see uh, this sort of zit grow up uh, on, his, um, on his nose. Um, <clears throat> and he sort of turns, and he says he's doing the selfie, looks towards... Uh, um, looks towards... Uh, dynamic uh, and then there is just this moment of what <clears throat> uh i better say he sort of looks and then he sort of grabs his his nose um i mean we definitely like 
you know, get a picture. Like it's like right as we're taking a big picture together, like yeah. <laughs> right, and it's all over my feed, <laughs> like this huge nose. Like, yeah. Uh, um, yes. So it, it's I say we won't, there won't be a huge escalation from that, but uh, like he's sort of, like going like you can sort of see this on this picture. And he's going like, oh no, um, and Quiver, where, where what have you been doing in, in the sort of background while this has all been going on? Uh, Quiver is, is 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 hiding behind some trees, trying uh, behind the crowd, trying to get dynamic attention and point out that he's here, ready to intervene. He doesn't want to like get on the stage, but he's like really waiting for dynamic to I don't know call him out to come for the stage or like for some spotlight. He doesn't. He's he he's too he's too unsure. He doesn't want to like barge in on on dynamic show, but he's like, hey, I'm here. I'm just just call me out and I'll come. Uh, and in the meantime, just you know. I think because he's he just in the background, I'm just like looking around if if there's any any kind of danger approaching, but that just like you know possibly. Well, why uh, why why don't you uh, assess the situation for me? Because as you're doing that and you're waiting for your your sign, that's the point where you can see uh, the, the red dot that appears on Dynamics forehead. Uh, no, that's. Assess- uh, the, dice, yeah. the dice are not really with me today. It's a four. Well, mark potential, so you don't get to ask questions, but you do see uh, the red uh, dot. Um, you're not going to have time to, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, you, you can sort of see the red dot and you can sort of, as you sort of turn, you, you spot there is a figure on uh, uh, a roof on the other side of the park. So whatever is, is doing this has got a high-powered rifle, and you can sort of hear that crack. <clears throat> what would you like to do? Uh, uh, but you said I don't have enough time to, to get on the stage, yes? You could, uh, you could potentially uh, jump into the wave. You haven't got a time to warn him, I think, is, the, uh, is to, to frame that more clearly. You're going to have to act. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, I, th- I think Quiver, yeah, catching in, in line of the bullet is probably a little too hard. But maybe, uh, maybe I have enough time to quickly pull a... Uh, uh, what kind of arrow would, uh, would uh, could this be? I think I have like magnetic arrow, mm-hmm. and I shoot it somewhere behind the crowd on the like on where I think the bullet will be approaching from, so that the bullet will be like attracted by the magnet. I'm hoping it's a metallic bullet. Who, who knows? And yeah. Okay, so you're gonna need to uh, defend here, which you're gonna roll with savior. Uh, <coughs> awesome! Awesome. Uh, one. Uh, seems I'm wrapping potential to the trial today. It's slightly better. It's a five this time. Well, you do uh, mark uh, potential, um, and yeah, so dynamic, you're going to have to take uh, a powerful blow. Okie dokie. Hmm. I'm like, hmm, maybe it was about to hit Zane and I sacrificed myself to <laughs> jumping in front of it, but no. Uh, ah, sweet. That is uh, a. You have to roll low on um, yeah. Big powerful, take and I rolled over. a three basically, so I'm at five, which means I, I guess I, sorry, take a powerful blow is there. We go. Yeah, uh, on a miss, you stand strong, mark potential uh, as normal. Um, but do you want to? Do you want to? Uh, do you want to? Um, uh, hmm, well, I, I think scene or what happens there. Yeah, well, I think that arrow. Uh, you know, flies past, uh, and it's electric. It's magnetic, right? So, yeah. like, dynamic uh, can feel that going past, and it, as it's like, in that bullet is flying towards him at the same time. He just like whips out a hand and snatches the arrow, like with his powers, uh, and then it just like in, like it, it veers and catches the bullet in midair, like rather than drawing it to it, just like ding, and away. And I'm like, whoa, everybody down, <laughs> like. 
and then full on Magneto style kind of like, you know, on guard kind of thing. Okay, how does everyone else react to this uh, this gunshot uh, going off? Uh, Knox? Knox. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, Gem is going to try to like start using their powers kind of covertly, uh, but just to like uh, obscure field of vision for whoever the shooter is, um, just kind of casting shadows over uh, the people uh, in this area and dynamic. Okay, so let's see how successful that is by uh, unleashing your powers because you're reshaping your environment. So that was a 10. Ooh, that's awesome. So that succeeds. I think the shadows, uh, or do you want to describe it? Yeah. Um, so I think that we see like in the frame, um, we kind of see like shadows begin like seeping uh, into the panel. Um, and it kind of is like doing this like light, um, I don't know, it's like, just like a kind of veil over uh, everybody in the kind of state park stadium yeah. area. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that sort of extends in, uh, and uh, we uh, let's. Well, we see that the shooter as that happens. Uh, you can see that they they had just put the reticule over um, uh, uh, Zeng Belimbi's uh, face. And all of a sudden the shadows come across and the sort of figure steps up uh, and it's the one i put shadow at the end of last time of a guy in a, uh, a white rabbit's mask uh, shakes his head and uh, starts uh, leaving um oriflame what are you doing and you are muted i'm I muted of course uh i'm uh someone's obviously after dynamic when the shadows come up how much of the area is the shadows covering is it covering the stage or i think it's uh or it's, the, enti it's, the entire area or i think it's i i i, I sort of envisage it more as sort of like uh almost like a heavy mist to sort of come around and, and swallowing up the area right so the shadow popping in and out which would make it because the, this they're on the other end of the park so a good couple of hundred meters away from you uh, with the sniper's rifle, but when that goes up, um, you can sort of see them. Um, and I say you you can see, as I say, the silhouetted uh, rabbit figure, um, uh, what he still looks like a rabbit masked figure, uh, uh, um, uh, standing and um, starting to turn away. Okay. So am I am I covered <coughs> by the mist? Yes. Okay, in which case then I'm going to bring up an illusion on myself so I look like dynamic. And uh, using, uh, I'm going to reach to my belt, use my grapple hook, but make it look like dynamic's actually flying out of the shadow towards this uh, masked man. Cool. Okay. Uh, look, um, I'm not going to make you roll for that. As you do it and you cross and you hit the, uh, the rooftop, you can see the sniper rifle has been uh, left there. Um, the figure is gone and there is a picture of all four of you but the circle is actually around uh quiver's face uh i i gave uh gem a sorry i gave Knox a year piece uh at the last in the last game mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna put my hand up to my ear i'm guessing from the shadows you're around uh, yeah, I'm. I'm where I need to be. Okay. Uh, is Quiver with you? Um, I haven't seen Quiver, uh, but I'm. I saw that arrow. I'm assuming. I'm assuming they're here. Okay. Dynamics, not the target. Shit. Okay. Um, better find Quiver. Uh, do you have eyes on anyone? No. Uh, they've left. They've left the gun and uh, left. Uh, left a yeah, basically a mission packet. Give me 
Give me a few minutes. All right, stay safe. I'll see what I can do from here. Uh, I think that's the point as well where uh, Kitty comes over and grabs you uh, and looks really scared. <clears throat> that was to, to jam there. So she's going like, what's going on? <clears throat> Why are you here? What are you doing here? You need to get out of here now. She, said, she looks at you and says, anarchy. <laughs> that's what we do, right? Oh no, I got a feeling that we've got yeah, the great, the great <laughs> we've got a, we got a freeze from uh from Lara there, uh who's frozen in the look of shock and horror. Um so look, let's give uh, Lara a second. Um and look, I think everyone else is is here on uh Quiver, you've got time to close in now towards uh dynamic. Uh yeah, yeah, uh, Quiver is definitely running uh, to the stage. Uh, dynamic, are you, are you okay? Dan, dynamic, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Quick, get this guy out of here, and he should push his name Billingsby towards you. Like, uh, yeah, you know? yeah, sure. Uh, come on, Zane, let's get you to safety. <laughs> okay, everybody, like, make your way out of the park as clear as you can. We're gonna, you know, and um, just like I feel it, like the, the threat's gone, kind of thing. Dynamic is just gonna be like. Uh, making sure everyone's okay and like uh, directing people, all of that kind of thing. Uh, cool. So um, yeah, let's, let's cut back to, uh, to Jen there because uh, Kitty has, say, has said like, uh, you know, anarchy, that's what we do. Uh, but she looks really scared. Um, what does Jen do? Uh, I think that Jeff is literally going to like escort her away and kind of say go that way and kind of try to like cast some shadows around her so that nobody really sees her uh, while she tries to deal with everything else that's going on. Okay, look, the, the, your, your actions are, there's no further threats, your actions like to get dispersed the crowd, we can hear the um, uh, uh, we can hear the, 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 the uh, your police sirens um, in the distance um, and ambulance and emergency sirens, but the team has managed to get everyone away safely. What is, what are you now doing? Uh, I'm going to send a uh, message out to everyone uh, saying we need to meet it up now. Uh, I, I think we can arrange a meet up without going through the whole conversation. The question is, where are we meeting? Uh, dynamic apartments was the base last time. Yeah, on the rooftop. The rooftop seems to be our rooftop seems to be our thing. Yeah, I mean, Dynamic's uh, apartment clearly has a rooftop terrace of its own. You know, like its own specific rooftop place. It's part of the the whole deal. You know, like. It's got a barbecue up there, uh, some ch some lounges, and great great place to sunbathe in the summer and to throw parties. And of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, we we see we see that sign, uh, but um, yeah, at the moment it's it's uh, snow topped, and um, the team are together. Are there any uh, sort of Christmas decorations or a snowman or anything up here? Um, dynamic. Um, there is a big obnoxious Christmas tree. Lots of <laughs> lights and things, huge amounts of things. Uh, yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, it's one of those things that like every now and again, like Dynamic will uh, will sit out here and when he's bored, he will just make all the lights like move around and put on a display for all the people who can see it from the other side of the street things like that oh it's completely a fake christmas tree entirely a fake christmas tree cool but yeah that's fine you're there you get a text through uh Knox from kitty saying that she's uh she's safe she's home uh but mom is furious at the state we left the kitchen in <laughs> uh, and then followed by uh, a photo text like we're both grounded for a week they are trying to find you um uh, and then the final one going like, 
please get me one of Dynamics t-shirts. <clears throat> well, the team, anyway, you're there. Uh, I've taken the gun and the mission pack, the, the uh, document packet that was mm -hmm. there. And uh, is everyone okay? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that that, 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 that dynamic didn't get hit. I, I was so afraid that I, I fired the year, the year, this arrow. I missed the approaching bullet. The, the dynamic, you are so cool that you caught the arrow and caught the bullet. Jeez, uh, man, hey, you're, hey, man, you're awesome. Oh, well, I am. I am. Of course, of course. But, you know, without the arrow, uh, you know, I may have, uh, you know, like, got my clothes dirty or something. So, thanks. More than that, but more worryingly, yeah, Dynamic wasn't the target, and I'm going to take out the picture and, uh, and put it on the table in front of us. Well, throw it onto the table in front of us. And over there was the mark of our quiver, yes? On the picture? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, they, they clearly, like, someone, like, marked the wrong target. Like, there was no reason that I, I would be the, the target. What have you done recently that's pissed someone off more, than, more so than what we normally do? Uh, I told some goonies to, who are trading drugs on the, on the uh, skate park to, to, to go away. Uh, yeah, and I saved I the mean, mayor like this week ago, yes. It's probably the latter more than the former, I think. But uh, you know, like Quiver, this is great. You're you're on your first step to. What do you mean? This is stuff. great. He's got an analysis. No, He's got a no, name. He's this isn't great. Shit, People are Quiver, trying to kill him. Quiver, you are notorious, my man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I, I would like to try to support Quiver. <laughs> uh, which is comfort or support role plus mundane. I'm not very good at mundane. I'll I'll let you know what that to go with, obviously. Uh, but I'm good enough. That's a nine. Uh, so you can uh, uh, mark potential, clear a condition, or shift labels if you open up. Uh, yeah, I, ca I, I kind of want to spend our team pool to boost it by one. Uh, kind of like re retroactively for what I said earlier about how cool dynamic is. Can we mm -hmm. count this one as help? Yeah, go put it, you can spread upon a team and put it up um, to, to a ten. It yeah. wouldn't be a 10, though, because I have a minus one in them. Ah, oh. So, yeah, just, so whatever way, however oh. much team we spend, we're stuck in the seven to nine radius. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think afraid, maybe, or like guilty, you know? Like, those seem like the ones that I'd be maybe guilty more, because like, you were sort of like, oh, I messed it up kind of thing. And I've been like, no, man, you're... You're on fire. You helped me. You've got a nemesis. This is all coming together, Quiver Baby. We can, we can put it like in a thing, like you know, pulled from the quiver, an arrow in flight. Maybe that's yeah. going to be the name of the series. Like, uh... yeah, we clearly see that Quiver is uh, is a little bit unsure about having his own nemesis, but yeah, of course, like ev every superhero needs to have a nemesis. So that's a first step. Yeah, it means I'm becoming like no, cool. Yeah. You, no, no, this this isn't good. I'm sorry, Dynamic. This isn't good. No, Quiver, it means someone's out for your blood. That's not... Do you have a death wish? <laughs> but like, but like, every superhero has like a, has like a nemesis trying to get to, to, to kill them. Yeah, like, like Superman has all the bad guys and the Batman has, has the Joker. So like, I just need to know who is it, and you know, it's like every superhero has like one. Don't you guys have one on who wants to kill you? No. Uh, I think Dynamic looks over at Auraflame. Mm, I think the only person who wants to kill me is right here. I never said that. Mm. I, I I may not agree with how you work, but I res I do respect the work itself. Uh, I think I wonder. I, I think that's actually a comfort and support there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd like that. I do feel in masks, the uh, comfort and support is sometimes hard to miss. It's easy to miss among the, the dialogue. You know what I mean? Like, and that's an eight. Yes, and I will clear my... Uh, I will clear my um, guilty, I think. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, uh, I would. You know, like, but whoever this mystery shooter is, they're not our only problem, you know? And he uh, pulls out a, a very, uh, I think, like, big draggled newspaper from uh, the inside of his jacket pocket. Uh, puts it out and says, everyone catch the news? Handsome Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, Not looking I did. so pretty anymore, is he? Uh, yeah. Or if like, uh, uh, I don't personally I believe that you did it. And I just want you to know that whatever the press and the police thinks, I want you to know that we here are the team to support you and clear your name. So you, ha so, so you have us who believe that, that, that you are the, 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 the good girl. Mm. Firstly, I'm not a good girl. Mm. Secondly, I didn't do it. And thirdly, thanks. But this is actually an opportunity. Uh, I was really, really looking forward to, to trigger my comfort and support oh, because I'm yes. currently... Yes, by all means, please do uh, so. I was really trying to, to, to hit it. Uh, no, no, no. I, I figured that's what you were going for. It's just the opportunity to use the line. Firstly, I'm not a good girl. It's just to... Uh, yeah, uh, and I'm going to involve Sparky because Sparky helps with comfort and support. So, so uh, Sparky uh, probably uh, like uh, goes uh, around your 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 legs, and you know, uh, with his tail, he shows that he's really happy to see you. Big dog uh, lick to the face. Yes, I, I think literally Little Sparky's butt. up and. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah, that's also cool. He's he's tall enough to like lick you in the face. Uh, let, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm getting better. It's seven now. Uh, at which point, I think I am uh, not uh, not quite as angry as I was. I don't see that lasting very long. So what do we do <clears throat> next, guys? Like, we got Shooter, we got bombs, we uh, got fugitive on the run again. I mean, that's kind of your deal, right? So, yeah, well, we like I say, that's an opportunity rather than anything else. Okay, I think I think we can actually use that to do some good in this town. But not because anyone going in for you, or are you blowing up any gangsters anytime any re recently? Anything we should, you know, get out on the table. You know, I, I really just stick to myself. Um, I don't know what you all, how you all manage to get in this much trouble. It's really much easier if you just kind of stick to the shadows. Uh, you can't hide this light, baby. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, um, I don't know. Should we, I don't know. Like, I, I can't think of a strategy at this point. Uh, I, was, I, I was actually thinking of you know calling the uh, the, the captain uh, Billingsby and asking her to like you know pull off the beans and and stop like hunting or flame maybe we can arrange a meeting to clear these things out uh, I was actually thinking of doing that no I I I, I have I want to speak to her yes but I, I've got something else in mind Sure. But our immediate problem is the person uh, gunning for you. That's what we need to sort out. If I if I get caught, I can be broken out. I can get out. I can things can happen. If someone kills you, we can't do shit about that. Hey, Orifine, can you make me look like Quiver? Yes, I can. Let's do it then. Come on. But not over a long period of time. It, it drain the batteries on this unit drain quickly. Yeah. So it has to be situational. It can't just be permanently. Yeah. No, no, not permanently. We'll, we'll do but, it right today. You know, let's go, Quiver. You know, Quiver knocks you in. Let's go. But, or to, what, to, well, but to what What thing? Uh, well, we have no idea where this person is or... Yeah. I, but, ca I can't keep the power up. I can't use the... Uh, I can't use the generator for that long. An hour? Uh, yeah, but which hour? This hour. Now, let's go. But yeah, where but are we going to go? I don't know. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll look like Quiver and, you know, I, we'll do some live streaming. We'll see where we are. Maybe they'll take another shot. Uh, 
Wow. Yeah. Dynamic. I was thinking maybe you can, like, you know, since we have seen this person, maybe you can like give us give a shout out on on Twitter and, and, and YouTube, and maybe someone have seen them moving somewhere around the city. Ooh. Yeah, I could reach out to my audience for uh, help. Is that maybe a possibility on the table? Yeah? Let's do that then. Use my star move. Now that I've got it back again, i probably screw it up and immediately lose my uh, <laughs> thing. Um, I'm out of frame while you're doing this, by the way. Yes, cool. Uh, I get a 10. So... Uh, on a 10 plus, they only make a small demand, but they can hook me up. Um, you, you, uh, you, yeah, your, your audience, your audience responds, uh, back, which we, you, sorry, you were asking to find, uh, um, a, a lead. Of, yeah. Yeah. Maybe like wh whatever kind of lead, you know, like they went in this direction, they got into that car or whatever, you know, like, uh. Cool. Yeah, got it. Right. So yeah, you 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 um. So you sort of you got the description, and then uh, it takes a little while. You sort of the feed coming through, and you have to got to filter back before a bit. But then you do get someone who's got uh, a picture of uh, this guy in the white mask, um, getting uh, onto a uh, motorcycle. Uh, and that heading out, and uh, you see him in the uh, video because he says, "I like this guy." Look, I thought he was like some sort of, uh, um, you know, street performer. But he had like loads of swords and guns, um, and you can see the vi the vehicle heading off in the direction of the uh, docks on the waterfront. Ah, oh, great docks! Classic, classic. Like, <laughs> and do you know who works the docks and may have a better idea of where to find them? Uh, no. Bluebird. Oh god. I mean, she still owes me for that camera. Well she was okay. Jeff technically. That, that's that's between you two. But that's it, that's her turf. If we're gonna be going if we're gonna be going down there, we, we need to reach out to her. Oh well, we need to clear it with Miss Bluebird. Okay. No, we need to actually n gain some uh, knowledge from someone who knows the area. This isn't about you. Yeah, that's this isn't awesome. The, a crossover. Never get it. This is real life. This isn't a comic book, folks. Uh, so, what do you mean? We are superheroes. We are heroes. Well, I'd like to think that we're heroes. Well, but this isn't a comic book. This isn't come to the end of the comic and everything's the same as it was at the start of the next issue. Well, how about you go chat? You go clear things with Lady Blue, and. We can do my brilliant, uh, you know, like uh, honeypot trap down at the docks where this guy went to, maybe, you know? And plus docks, less people, less things, you know? Lots of metal for me. Orflame, I'm, yeah. I'm supporting your idea. Yeah, we should contact her and, you know, have a crossover with, we will set up, set up the trap and she will lay the ambush, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm supporting your idea. Quiver. <sighs> What do you want out of this? You just seem to be you seem to think this is just you seem to think that this is just some sort of game. I, this isn't a crossover, this is real life. When we fuck up, people get hurt. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you using your influence to tell I them? I definitely uh, who am they are. Yes. Uh yeah, uh so uh So, uh, hmm. so are, you, are you going to accept or reject the influence being uh, used um, on you by yeah. Oraflame? Yeah, okay. uh, can, can, you, can you explain your, what you are actually trying to influence on, on Quiver? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, point out that this is, the way you're talking about it is like it's in part of a comic book, like this is mm -hmm. all fun and laughing. I'm, I'm pointing out that people actually get hurt, so I'm trying to put your savior up and your superior down. Uh, God damn it! I, I have to, I have to refuse. Like whoever is in, is in his, is in his. Yeah, I got my own nemesis. No, I'm, I'm. I have to refuse. Like this is. Uh, I'm probably, do I have some negatives to this? No. No, it's, it's, no, no, it's, it's just a straight it's roll. Straightforward. Uh, 
2d6. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a seven. So on a seven, that's enough, right? You, you, you reject, uh, you reject um, uh, Aura Flame telling you who you are. Uh, uh, yeah. You choose one from the list. Yeah, I'm going to shift one label up and one label down, and I'm going to say, uh, yes, yeah, this is exactly what I want. We're going to go there, and we're going to, like, fight them, and I'm going to show them who is the boss. So <laughs> I'm turning my danger up. <laughs> and I don't know, savior down. I'm going to go exactly opposite. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, this is, this, is how, this is how we do it. And, I, and, and I'm going to high five with dynamic because it was his idea to go there and. Can I yeah. can I just check like are Aura Flame and Knox in the right comic? Uh, do you want to spin off away from the rest of these? Little I think I think odd couples are brilliant. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, I'm just enjoying it so much. Um, uh, cool. All right, um, Knox. As we uh, look down um, and you sort of see your your phone, you have uh, nine missed calls from your mother. Yeah, uh, I think that Knox is of the uh, mindset, if you ignore a problem, it will go away. So she's just going to ignore it. <laughs> hey, Knox, what do you think about, about the ambush, in the, ambush in, the, in the docks? I hope you're with us. Yeah, you know, I mean... <sighs> I, I guess we don't really have any other ideas, do we? Uh, someone's going to ask Well, you we, we do have this, and I'll hold up the rifle. Violence isn't always the answer. That's not what I meant. We, we haven't checked this for any clues yet. Uh, and then know of you, I don't know, speak with metal? I can't. Maybe you can. <sighs> Mm, quiver, please. Stop it. We don't need to speak with metal. And I'll, I'll pull out the uh, the uh, scanner, that the alien scanner that I've got. Cool. So uh, I presume that you are trying to assess the situation? Yes, I am. And uh, that's done with uh, Superior, isn't it? It is. It is with Rogue Superior, yes. Okay. I have too many screens open. Okay, and that's a nine. <clears throat> okay, so on seven to nine, you can ask one question unless uh, someone wants to assist you in some way and spend upon a team to push that to a ten. Sure. I think dynamic will, uh, I think maybe like the scanner, like, um, you know, Fritz is for a second and it's like, oh, there's too much interference. The dynamic's like, oh, wait. And uh, he like focuses really hard and he's like, try now, because I think it's his sort of background interference that's doing it. Brilliant. So uh, the question I'm asking is, what year can I use to uh, track down uh, the rabbit? Um. <clears throat> So, um, what you do is you sort of strip the um, uh, you strip the uh, weapon apart, looking for clues. Is you spot uh, what appears to be um, uh, ground white powder. When you sniff at it or check it, it's 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 flour. Uh, and on the docks, there is a. Um, there is a now decommissioned uh, mill that used to uh, employ a lot of people in the neighborhood. <clears throat> so if there's uh, granules of flour inside a stripped down uh, weapon, it, it's likely that it came from uh, there. Or the guy runs a baker shop. Uh, like a classic villain, he's always after the dough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take a powerful blow from that pun. <laughs> I thought it might get a rise. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just need to do this. Ask your damn second question. 
looking at the actual tech of the gun, what what here is the biggest threat? Was it anything special about the gun itself? Was it a normal rifle or it's uh it's a high powered um uh sniper rifle as you take it out uh the the the, the shells look like they uh, have been put uh, uh sort of hand crafted uh, and on the uh third shell in the gun it had uh quiver um uh, scribed into the case okay so what's special about that shell when i scan uh, it 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 is um uh, it is a uh, hollow point. It is designed to do a lot of damage when it hits. So, long story short, don't get shot. Okay. Let's turn the page there, folks. And, um, okay, so uh, let's let's uh frame the next scene are you heading down towards the docks or is anyone going anywhere else what do we want to do i thought oriflame wanted to try and reach out to bluebird in sure. some way uh i i do but uh i'm conscious of the fact that we've only got an hour left uh so I, i'm gonna say at this point we probably i probably don't get in touch with her by the time we need to act yeah, we don't have to resolve the the, the the fight scene this game if you do want to do uh, character scenes, especially as we'll we'll have to drop out at twelve. Um, I'm happy to sort of uh, frame that way if you want to. So just you're in the driving seat, Tom, which which is going to be uh, the most uh, fun for you, folks. Well, I would I would like to have a scene with a bluebird at some point, okay. but I I don't mind if it's before. Or well, maybe, maybe we can pick maybe we can pick that up uh, uh, after uh, Willis dropped, right? Because um, as yeah. you say, um, she wouldn't want to hang out with Dynamic anyway. He's like naff. <laughs> um, Biggest fan there. Yeah. So you're heading. Where where are you heading to then? What's the? Well, we've got the location of this flour mill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then say as you're as you're heading uh, in that direction. Um, Quiver, you get a you get a message from uh, your dad, uh, and you sort of link to the the video uh, of um, uh, you've linked to the um, mm -hmm. do, uh, the video of uh, um, dynamic in the um, uh, the brain gone um, the brain in the park and everything's gone on. The rest of the team, he going like he said. Yeah, he says, I didn't realize, uh, didn't know uh, Dynamic had uh, a team. Uh, definitely be interested in uh, in sponsoring uh, these guys. Um, and then sort of goes like, but what's up with that uh, Quiver guy? He looks like he's dressed from like a fancy dress shop. Uh, yeah, so so as we're going there, as we are probably grabbing cooking and cooking around town, Quiver tells... Uh, uh, dynamic that my dad is really happy that he has a team, that we are a team, and he's looking forward to to, to finance us. And then replies to to his dad. Uh, ah, what would he write to his dad? Well, just no. before you do that, what what your your dad I think is is uh, is telling he doesn't know your quiver, but he's telling you that he doesn't take quiver seriously as a superhero. So he's using his influence against you. Are you yeah. going to accept that, or are you going to reject it? Yeah, like, yeah, it's my dad said <coughs> something about me. Yeah, I accept it. Okay, so he's going to he's gonna uh, put your uh, freak up, and he's going to put your superior down. Uh, I've just done that for you. They're both back to a zero. Yeah, I probably replied to my dad and write, uh, I'm sure when you meet him, you will, you will see his valor. Uh, they were like you know if that if that uh you know if, if that wannabe is going to be on this team we're going to have to get him a, a proper costume uh yeah so uh yeah quiver feels a little bit demoted by his dad but uh but what is the dynamic response to the good news that my dad is looking forward to find as the team okay oh, great i mean yeah your dad oh 
Did you, did you say it's your dad, I guess? Like, uh, yeah, I think I told you last session that I yes, went yes, to my dad exactly. and tell him that. Yeah, yeah. I, I just had a brief moment at his quiver, you know, secret identities and stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, cool. Well, I mean, yeah, you know. Uh, hey, Kill, you by Rodriguez, right? The bur nice. Okay. We'll have, we'll, I'll have Jeff talk to your people, your dad's people, like this night. Yeah. I'm not yeah. wearing any goddamn logos. I'm not wearing any goddamn logos either, man. You, you think I'm going to mess with this? I've seen what they do with shit like NASCAR and, uh, you did and not some other you teams. Did, you did not just compare me to NASCAR. What the hell, man? <laughs> how, does the, uh, how does the team travel? What, what, is, what is your mode of transportation? Because like, I don't think anyone's got a car or anything. Right? So I, I like think I've the stolen bus? the car. You've stolen the car. Awesome. <laughs> I've not told them it's stolen, but... Okay, as we're, as we're crossing town, uh, um, Knox, you get a, a, a message from uh, um, Monita Sanchez. She uh, sort of responds, and the message is, is, do you know your parents have put a missing persons report out on you? Question mark. Uh, on me? Well, that's, that's, that's very odd. I'm, I'm not missing. <laughs> um, and I think the response back is, right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll cover for you, but I'd like to meet and talk about um, a few things soon. Question mark. Uh, I mean, I think that Knox is probably going to type back. Uh, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know how much help I'll be, but what, what is this regarding? Uh, it says, yeah, and, and she puts a, a response back with just the words, um, what you do in the shadows. Knox goes white. Uh. <laughs> And then which, leaves on red. I was going to say, which for a being made of shadows is a really impressive feat. <laughs> but the the car, you, you how close to the warehouse are you are you pulling uh, up? Uh, I think we're going to go the last distance on foot. I don't think we're going to uh, drive right into the warehouse itself. So the warehouse looks to be. Uh, locked um no lights inside what are you going to do uh dynamic um i'm gonna look around and i'm going to uh unlock the door with my powers okay uh can i check with you dynamic are you doing this uh on or off uh camera oh, i'm turning the camera i'm doing everything off camera at this point so jeff's not with you right Jeff's not with me now. Okay. No. Establish that. Lovely. Okay. Um, look, I'm not going to make you roll for it. It's just it's incidental enough that the lock uh, sort of uh, pops with your hand. And I think uh, as I as I open it, I wink at Oriflame uh, and say to the other two, uh, "God, they didn't even leave this locked." As you pull open the large uh, metal door, uh, that's the point that the uh, tripped um, uh, shotgun on the other end goes off, and I'd like to take a powerful blow. Cool. Oof, I take a powerful blow. What did you roll? I rolled a 10. Uh, well, on a, on a 10, uh, remove yourself, lose control of your powers, uh, or choose two from the list. Um, I am going to uh, mark two conditions uh, and I'm going to mark angry and um, I think hopeless as well uh, and then my other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to uh, give ground the, the opposition gets an opportunity. Okay so I see uh, Dynamic was making his wise ass response, and then there was just like this boom as uh, a, uh, uh, a wired shotgun on the other side of the door goes off, hitting him and sending you sprawling. Uh, how do you react to that, Quiver? 
I think uh, I think Quiver might not re realize it was like a trap, so he just like jumps jumps inside the 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 warehouse with his bow and arrow drone, uh, and he shouts, uh, "I am Quiver! I am the uh, I am the danger! I, I am the 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 uh, I am the most dangerous superhero." Me. <laughs> Good. Uh, as you as you uh, as you do this, um, yeah. As you do that, uh, what? Well, let's let's see if you can provoke him because uh, you're the one they really want to shoot, right? So uh, let's see how that goes. Um, are you going to provoke them, or are you uh, trying to use? You're pretty much a superhero. Uh, I don't know. I. I, th I, th I think let's go for provoke this time because I'm clearly uh, provoking because I think that maybe dynamic cool or something and yeah he just took the blow probably from me so I want to like provoke him yeah let's go with provoke Let, let's let's uh, let's roll those dice so provoke is um, with uh, with superior uh, yeah uh, it's a six on the dice plus my zero it's a still six. Okay, so mark mark potential, uh, and uh, the opportunity that I'm holding, um, uh, and the effect of that as you step in and you make this huge, and all of a sudden uh, we see uh, cables being uh, uh, released above you and uh, piling down is is a huge piece of machinery. Uh, you're going to have to take uh, a powerful blow, and that's anyone's going to try and defend you. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually uh, go and try and uh, push him out of the way, even if it means I take the blow myself. Okay, so uh, yeah, th 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 this uh, this is it is literally one of the milling machines which has just been dropped. Uh, I am I am equivalently dropping at a piano on your head. All right, so let's let's see how this defend goes with your savior, uh, Oriflame. Uh, that would be a uh, that would be a seven. So, uh, you expose yourself to danger or you escalate the situation? Make I think a... I expose myself to danger. Then I'd like but... you to take the powerful blow as you push Quiver out of the way, but are not quite fast enough uh, as you get caught by it landing on you. And that's a 12. You must remove yourself from the scene, lose your power control of your powers or yourself in a terrible way, or take two options from the seven to nine uh, list. Okay, uh, give me two seconds. Uh, I'm going to give you a moment to think about that, and I'm going to shift the uh, the camera to uh, Nox at this point, as you've just seen uh, this land on Oriflame. What does Nox do? Um, I think that uh, Nox is probably going to go and try to look around to see who dropped that or like who triggered that. Like, um... So uh, you, if you want to try and figure that out, you may want, want to assess the situation. Is that a flat roll? Sorry. No, so it's with superior as a such situation. So your superior is zero, so that will be flat for you. All right. So that's a four. Yeah, it's a four. Uh, so you you don't uh, assess the situation, but do mark potential, uh, uh, and so sort of we would see off panel uh, White Rabbit uh, um, uh, moving into a um, um, a new position where they um, flick the power up switch uh, on a um, a minigun. <clears throat> Now, let's just see how what Oroflow wanted to do there. Uh, from the defend list, I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to take influence over Quiver for doing that. Yep. And uh, I'm going to actually be caught by this falling uh, piece of machinery, and I'm out of it. You're out of it unless someone can free you. Okay. Yes. That that just we got someone have to get you out of that, but. Look, I saw your comment about team there. The good news is you are you are uh, entering a battle against a uh, a, 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 a a superior foe. So, uh, so just to finish, let's finish one thing. So, since you already <coughs> have influence over me or a time, maybe you shout something and touch my labels. 
Uh, no, I, I used my influence over you earlier to try and actually tell you who you were. But you didn't burn you it. You just you just used it. You tried to invoke mm -hmm. it. Oh, that, wasn't, that wasn't taken away from you, I don't think. Oh, sorry. I thought I had to actually uh, burn it to use it. No, um, which... you what well, you can you can uh, take advantage of your influence over someone, which um, which means you don't have to use a role and you burn it, uh, but they can choose to reject your influence and take it from you. Ah, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood the rules. Uh, in which case, I won't gain influence over the uh, quiver again. What I'll do is I'll actually clear uh, afraid. That makes uh, awesome. that makes sense. Okay, so. Um, you're entering battle against a dangerous foe as a team. You're going to add two tune to the pool. So your team is, uh, as I go up to three. Uh, who is the leader in this situation, do we believe? It's still Oriflame? Uh, yeah. Or, or, or maybe Danami, because it was his idea to come here. To... I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Why don't we say dynamic? Because I just strode straight in through the door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Full hardishly, perhaps. We'll see. Does, does yeah. the leader does the leader have influence over everyone in the team? Do you have influence over everyone? I believe I do. Yes, I do. Oh no, I, I don't have influence over. I've put influence. I have influence over dynamic. So I think I actually have influence over Knox rather than. Yes, I do. Yeah. I put... Okay. So that goes up to to three. Uh, uh, what's your purpose in this? Uh, Fight dynamic. Uh, take out the right, take down the white rabbit. Does anyone have a different uh, purpose in this fight? No, okay. well, I don't. Um, so that goes up to four for team. Does anyone mistrust the leader? Knox the does. Yeah, Knox does mistrust. Why do you mistrust them? I mean, Dynamic just went like full on in, like just went barging through the front door and ended up getting shot. That did not instill a lot of confidence in me. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> if your team is ill prepared or off balance, remove a team. Uh, ooh, seems like that would be the case because you failed quite so many roles spectacularly. So I'm adding another two into the team. So your current team stands at three. Uh, how about cool question? Where do we track the team? Do we track the team in the roller or, it's, uh, or, or I, in the I'm, sheet? I'm, it's, uh, I'm, I keep the, the running total in the sheet, but I, I, we've already got three in the team now on the um, in the dice roller, so it, it's accurate as of this moment. So I'm just about cool. to open it and roll for your party, right? So your team's at three, um, and uh, look at uh, at this point. Um, as I say, um, we can hear this crunch, uh, and Oriflame is taken out. Uh, you're, you're sort of spinning around and um, uh, you can sort of hear this voice um, in the darkness said, <clears throat> bad mistake coming into my warren, kids. Uh, and uh, the uh, you can hear this whir of an engine of a, uh, a minigun uh, wiring up and uh, it shutters across the... Um, uh, the area, and he's specifically aiming for Quiver again. So, Quiver, uh, you're going to need to take a powerful blow. Uh, sure. <clears throat> I, have <clears throat> I have only one condition. Sure. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Oh, yeah, I, I rolled a natural 11 on the dice. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, that, that's good. You rolled what, sorry? I, the dice just came out at, at eleven without any modifiers, so that's pretty bad. That's that's that, this is not going well for the team so far. No, that's uh, the same role I had. <laughs> so, oh dear. So you have to choose one from the powerful uh, blow list. So I'm going to give you a moment to to think about that. As um, uh, um, dynamic, you're getting back to your feet. Um, uh, Unless anyone, well, no, I'm not going to give any because I think everyone's off off uh, guard. So I'm not going to allow anyone to make a defend this time. Uh, Quiver has been shot, so give him a moment to figure out what he wants to do. Uh, but what are you do, doing, Dynamic? As you can see, uh, Oriflame is being crushed in the machinery, uh, um, uh, and um, uh, Quiver has just been shot. So uh, how are you feeling, Leader? Uh, not great, but uh, I c can see. Um... Quiver's being crushed. I, uh, no, Oriflame's being shot. Whatever. Um, so we can't see actually any of the threat at the moment, can we? No. Well, you can see, like, yeah, exactly so. 
Yeah. Um, so uh, I am going to uh, use my powers to grab uh, that heavy piece of equipment off um, Oriflame and uh, smash it straight through the roof of this building. Great. Unleash your powers, please. If you uh, get a 10 plus, uh, you're able to free um, Oriflame and they're back in the fight. Hmm. Can someone spend a team to help me? Or I will spend it selfishly if not. Nox is probably in a position to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I can do that. Um... What does it look like? Yeah, um, I guess I'm just kind of like creating this kind of bubble around dynamics so that like nobody can really see what dynamics doing right now. Um, so that he has that kind of cover and that kind of like ability to focus. Cool. So yeah, I, I want to emphasize that this is uh, breaking something as I do it. Uh, I'm going to like smash this piece of equipment like straight out of the wall of this uh, this mill like uh. <coughs> okay so. so that yes that goes flying out through the roof uh we cut to a panel uh where there is uh, a fight going on uh elsewhere and we see bluebird looking up as we see this going through the roof and she mutters under her breath dynamic <coughs> <coughs> Uh, and uh, look, with that, um, it'll take you uh, um, uh, a few seconds to recover uh, or a flame. So we'll do another round as you're sort of pulling yourself up and dusting yourself down, but you are unpinned from the machinery on top of you. Uh, what did you choose to take uh, as the outcome of the um, take a powerful blow? So uh, since uh, Quiver came there, beefed up on his danger, and he just got this high-powered sniper rifle he was planning to use, and I'm going to lose control of my powers in a terrible way. I have this high-powered sniper rifle with me, and probably my quiver full of explosive arrows or something like this, and it just goes nuts. So lose control of your powers in, in a terrible way. So I think as you uh, stumble backwards, the sniper rifle in your hand, uh, there, there is a crack and um all of a sudden uh uh nox you realize that you are bleeding and you need to take uh marker condition please so you've lost control uh you have accidentally shot uh uh nox uh oh wow this uh, this goes so bad that uh, yeah, I think that this is the moment where where Quiver panics and he just drops the gun and he just like runs away. That's 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 way too much for him. He he shot a teammate. He isn't so cool. I think I think he loses it and he just drops it and runs away through the door. Excellent. But so you are running away. So you 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 are fleeing the scene, uh, which uh, is great. So you can clear condition. Um, how do you react to this one? Dynamic. Uh, Quiver has just fled. Uh, Gem's just being shot. There is that sort of uh, uh, look, presumably. Uh, how do you react, Gem? Before we get to dynamic, how you just you've just been shot by your teammate. It's obviously an accident, but it's yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I think it's a bit of a shock, like, uh, but I think that, like, she kind of whips her head around, Quiver, get your ass back here! Um, yeah, but I don't think Quiver's listening. He's he's freaked and run. Dynamic, what do you do? Um, I'm gonna... We still can't see any kind of target, can we? Uh, I am going to... Um, I'm going to uh, try and extend my senses uh, and feel out in the electromagnetic range to uh, to identify, you know, where this the first shot came from, not the okay, one that okay. just fired off. Uh, please roll to unleash your powers. Cool, I get a nine on that. 
Okay. Uh, do you want a marking condition? I'm going to tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Um, I'm fine with it being unstable or temporary. Okay. So, um, uh, describe what it looks like then. If we were to see this in a panel or comic, but what what does it what does it feel like when your senses are heightened? I think it's like. Um, you know, like uh, he, his eyes crackle with electricity and um, things around him, like, you know, nuts and bolts and things float briefly up into the air uh, and it cuts to like, you know, dynamics view of things. And it's all that kind of like Batman detective mode style with like mm. bits of metal and electricity sources all lighting up kind of stuff. Excellent. So as you, as you see this, you, you're sort of, you, your senses extend through the darkness. Uh, and what you see is you do, um, you realize that you're in a hell of a kill box. There are weapons all over the places, uh, including as you sort of step forward in the darkness and pull your foot away, you realize you just about stepped on a landmine. Um, uh, and then in the distance, you can see this one uh, figure um, moving, but they are, uh, they are escaping the scene. They have already uh, run away and the weapons seem to be automatic or running away. The weapons seem to be automatic. Cool. Uh, I am going to uh, yell that they're getting away, and I'm going to do something extremely foolhardy, which is I am going to uh, use. I don't keep on hitting this one, but uh, I am going to use my powers to try and trigger every single booby trap in the building and launch it. You know, like basically fly out of the building with it all kind of dragged up in a big wet net behind me effectively Cool, because oh, the unstable effect was as your senses do head out you, you're going to need to do that because you've just realized that uh um uh, again a, a rocket launcher pointed your general direction is just armed so if you're unsuccessful uh, it all goes off and it all goes off at you yes <clears throat> hey i've got to clear my uh, insecure somehow right <laughs> <laughs> Seven flat seven. Uh, to unleash your powers again, yeah. Yes. So, so that is. Are you going to mark? What are you going to do here? Um. I am going to uh, you know, I'll mark a condition since I just cleared one. Mm -hmm. Um. Cool. I got rid of my insecure, and I will put uh, I think, afraid back on. Um, as I fly out of the building, uh, you know, crapping myself, basically. <laughs> okay, so, uh, bang, you go out and you see all of these weapons uh, sort of firing off uh, into the air. A, a rocket whooshes off and up and out into the night. <clears throat> uh, flame, you pull yourself uh, up, dust yourself down. That, uh, that hurt like uh, all hell. Uh, it did, you... and uh, as I get up, I stand up, I, I look around, I, I'm taking in the situation, and that's when I think I see the blood coming from Knox. Mm -hmm. God, you've been shot. And I, I go over and I basically try and uh, pull her around the corner from where the weapons fighter is to get yeah. her in the cover. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's... it's... This is just a flesh wound. We got it. We got to go, though. <laughs> They're getting away. Where? She kind of gestures, like, in the general direction. Like, I don't think that Knox totally knows where, but... <laughs> can, I, uh, can I also check if you were trying to comfort or support there, or a flame, as you're trying to I, um, pull uh, Knox uh, aside and check the condition of the wound? Yes, I am. So please roll your comfort and support. That's a uh, that's a six. Uh, in the in the tension of the the moment, I think it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't hit. That's okay. I wanted potential. Take your potential instead, uh, and um, yeah. You know the quiver's one in one direction, and uh, the white rabbit has gone in another, uh, which means that quiver's out there on their own. Uh, what are you going to do, team? We need to take the rabbit down. Uh, then we can see the quiver. Uh, so, 
you've just pulled all these weapons out and have thrown them after. I mean, like a you know, fired out of the sky, big cloud of like spinning knives and uh, bullets and landmines, and a rocket <laughs> came firing after me, and then boom, you know, so big explosion in the sky, kind of yeah. thing. And I'm, yeah. You, ev- everyone knows where you are. The the sky literally lights up uh, with this around you. Um, Let's, let's get. Yeah, rat, rat, the white rabbit has escaped the scene, right? Because they, they, uh, you've had a s- astoundingly bad series of rolls. Um, <clears throat> so uh, one of their moves is uh, uh, rabbit in a hat, uh, and they have, uh, they have uh, escaped the scene. Mm. Someone's uh, going to have to uh, weave a dangerous web, I think, to catch the white rabbit at some point. <laughs> you know, I was, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think uh, we need to get to the roof to basically uh, uh, meet up with Dynamic and uh, basically see what's going on. So I, I slip my hand around uh, Nox's waist, pull my grappling hook up, and grapple up to the roof. Okay. Um, you do that. Uh, let's shut to quiver at the moment. Uh, as you're running from the scene uh, in that panic, there is a, a moment, uh, quiver, where you are clotheslined uh, and uh, you're knocked down to the floor. The wind is not out of you. Sparky is um, barking, and uh, then we sort of see up the panel is is that Bluebird is looking down at you, going like, "What are you doing on my patch, uh, sidekick?" <clears throat> uh, uh... We went up after after the rabbit. He was he was he was trying to kill the, the dynamic. We came here, but uh, there was all the explosions and the dynamic got hit. And then and, and then I shot I shot uh, and then I shot the nose by by example at. Oh my God! This this all went to hell because of me. Ah, oh. and we actually see quiver like Sharatir, and he maybe is crying. Okay. Uh, her calling you a sidekick because uh, again she's an adult superhero. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, sh- uh, try and shift your labels uh, at that point. Um, yeah, I you accept. accept? All right, then I'm gonna put your your danger down one, and I'm gonna put your uh, mundane uh, up one. Um, she looks at you crying, and you see this sort of thought bubble going like, oh. Good job, Bluebird. You made the sidekick cry, um, <coughs> uh, and, and she sort of puts her hand, extends her hand up uh, at you, and goes like, "Let's, um, let's, let's, uh, let's sort this out, right?" Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go. It's okay. No one's got hurt. What do you mean? No, nobody they got hurt. I shot dogs. The, the, the gun just went off. Uh, I panicked. Uh, how, how can I? How can I go and talk to her now? Yeah, don't worry. It's not like, and then as you, so you can see, that's the point I think in the in the in the, the split timelines as we see the explosion goes above uh, the um, the warehouse. You go, oh, maybe someone has got hurt. We should go and like investigate that. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Come on, Spark. Let's go. Uh, Sparky uh, is sort of at this point has had the tail between their legs and their hands over their nose like this uh, also in a uh, a scared mode but uh, as you call them back to action Sparky leaps up barks uh, and we see you running towards uh, the the scene okay so everyone's back together we've got a few minutes before uh, Will needs to drop so dynamic what what is the how how are we going to take you out for that last sort of closing scene of this? It, it, was it just too much, and your powers have overextended you? Um, yeah, I, I think um, you know my my costumes ruined. My uh, like designer jacket that I was given is uh, destroyed, and um, you know I look like crap. Like I think maybe I I actually got dumped into the water after the explosion, and I'm like, cool. well. That didn't go well, did it? Because I didn't bring the cameras. Uh, so at least we made the rabbit run, right, guys? Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, we, we'll try your plan next time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I take off my leather jacket and basically uh, put it around him so he's got some way of staying warm. I will accept that. I will accept that comfort from... Uh, 
my teammate for sure well if you're saying it like that i think i have to roll confidence support actually <laughs> yes <laughs> that seems to be all i'm doing this time i'm playing, I'm playing the dink delinquent damn it why am i doing all the confidence support in yeah but with yeah. a heart of gold and that's a 12. nice so i get to clear um well you get to clear a condition yourself or add a team to the pool uh, I'll add a team to the pool because uh, okay. I've got no conditions. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to, I think maybe dynamic is just like, um, you guys sing Quiver? No, he, he, got, he got out of there when it all went to shit. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to mine. Maybe he's, he's headed back there and I'll see if I can get in touch with him, okay? Okay. Yeah, and I'm going to, here, thanks for the jacket, like, you keep it. I, I got more. No, no, no. More. No, no. You you can't go through the streets like that. No, you are right. <laughs> yeah, he'll fly away. Uh, and I will bid you guys all goodbye. Uh, thank you very much for this. And sorry for cutting it a bit short this cool. week. Cool. Well, if you want to put any stars or wishes into the catch channel later on, do feel free to do that. Will do. See you guys. All right. That's the point where I think Bluebird and Quiver re enter uh, the scene. Uh, there is. Uh, uh, Sort of, I think. So, Bluebird has put a hand out, quiver out to sort of stop you until uh, uh, Dynamic has sort of wandered off, and then she steps forward and sort of says, "Oh, good, he's gone. The grown-ups are here." Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think Quiver just like runs to Nox, uh, and and she and and there's like a, a a fountain of words, like I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Like Nox, are you okay? Like uh, it's. It didn't went as planned. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, uh, are you okay? Please uh, forgive me. Uh, no, and uh, I think. I, no, no, carry, carry on. Sorry. So it's, it's okay. It's fine. I'm fine. Look, totally, totally good. Like, uh, tries to like show that she has full range of motion, which is maybe not totally full range, but like, she, she, she. I'm okay. I'm still breathing. Uh, so I would suggest that our beacon has just uh, tried to share a vulnerability or weakness, confirming or deny that they should be here. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm going to uh, to say that maybe Quiver again says that uh, it wouldn't be. I should have stayed at stayed at, stayed at the bay. This is not the place for me. This is like way too dangerous. I I just I just caused more trouble than 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 brought help. <laughs> okay. Whoever you you belong here as much as any of us. <laughs> you just need to start acting like a, uh, a proper hero rather than what you read in the comic books. Uh, that's a that's a damning with fake praise <laughs> sort of comment. I backed up with what Oriflame just said. I I think that that. Um, how do you want to? How do you want to take that quiver? Have they confirmed you should or shouldn't be here? Uh, I, I think I, Flame has just shut you down. Unfortunately, I think so. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's go with it. If they deny it, Mike, Mark, angry and shift label up and down your choice. Uh, yeah. Uh, although, gosh. It, it doesn't feel like angry. It feels like guilty to me, honest. Can we like, change it? Yeah, I'm happy for you to, to mark uh, a more suitable emotional state for your character. Yeah, I'm going to mark guilty then. And uh, yeah, I think my, my, my danger goes down because it definitely didn't want us planned. And, and savior goes up. Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, I just, yes. Uh, I'm I'm happy that you are here with me all, and uh, I will I will behave better next time. I promise. You 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 try your best, like I say, but just keep in mind there's more than one person involved here. Look on How look on on the good side. Uh, Liberty Gift is here. We wanted to consult her about acting on her on her turf. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to do that before we arrived. I think Bluebird looks at that and looks at you and goes, I don't want you in the docks. 
but it's a bit late for that, right? And you can see the burning warehouse behind you. <clears throat> yeah, kind of late for that. Uh, you Better late it. than never, though. <clears throat> she sort of looks at you and goes, is it really? Uh, you can sort of hear... Um, um, uh, um, I don't know. Do you want do you want an assassin working in your area? Because you know it was their ship that went off and did all this, not us. Said yeah, but unfortunately, you've just spooked uh, my operations as well. I'm dealing with human trafficking, um, so imagine if I'm a little bit more concerned around this right now. <clears throat> so let's get out of here, and you owe me. <clears throat> well, if we had a means to actually get in touch with you, perhaps we could actually coordinate in future. Sure, we can have a little symbol. Uh, we can light up into the sky. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a little fucking lantern and actually just project it into the fucking clouds. That's entirely what I'm talking about. You so, so the police are starting to close in at this point, and she said, like, "Okay, let's get out of here and talk about this, where we're not going to have to figure out what Precinct Twenty Three is uh, going to do to us." Yeah, especially as I think they're looking for uh, you, right, Orifine? Let's get out of here. And he very deliberately doesn't actually, uh, he's avoiding the whole uh, question of uh, the police looking for him, or for her, sorry. <coughs> um, yeah. And it's like, you know, <clears throat> I think she sort of makes a snide comment like, yeah, if you're asking, if you're asking for my digits uh, or a flame, uh, you've got to buy me dinner first. <clears throat> So re reframe the scene. We're, 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 I think we're off the docks or somewhere. Um... Oh, before we do, uh, yeah, it's a date. But, she looks. Uh... She looks at you and raises an eye uh, brow and say, "You know, oh really? Fine, it's a date. <clears throat> what do you like?" Sushi, uh, hamburgers, beating the shit out of human traffickers. Maybe we can mix and match it too. And afterwards we can go for a dance. Well, actually that wouldn't be half bad. Let's get out of here. Yeah, go, yeah fine. That wouldn't be half bad. <laughs> <laughs> Orphan <laughs> really is a teenager. <laughs> <coughs> she's only a year or two older than you. She's, she's like in that young adult category, probably into the sort of uh, uh, you know early twenties. But um, um, I, I think you've just sort of uh, angrily uh, goaded each other into a date, which is the most uh, the best uh, date uh, I've ever set up in masks ever. Right? So that is uh, hilarious. But anyway, we we re we reconvene. Does anyone want to paint the scene? Where are you? I think we're at our, uh, we've gone to, uh, we're trying to lay low, so we, uh, I've uh, invited people back to my squad. Cool. So we've had up, you've <coughs> headed up town to, no, the, the squat's in, it's in the village, isn't it? It's yep. in Tritown, yeah. 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 Um, cool. This would have been one of the better, well, it's, it's, it's been damaged, uh, and as we sort of see that scene outside, um, <clears throat> we can see, uh, we can see a sign outside, and like it, it says, uh, um, uh, um, and you can see a picture of sort of of, of the redesigned buildings, um, um, and then, and it's sort of a sl slogan of of uh, um, uh, rebuilding the neighbourhood, uh, another Kilgrove uh, project. And there's there's a picture of uh, uh, Quiver's dad on the sign, uh, looking at you as you sort of enter the, the house and the squat. And I think I tear down the poster as uh, as I go in because it's a new poster they've put up. Can yeah. you believe the shit? Look at this smug asshole. Uh, hey, my dad actually like tries to revitalize this 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 neighborhood. Hang on, hang on, wait. He's your dad? Yeah. Oh shit! And I think we've got a flashback comic to uh, me breaking into the Kilbourne uh, house and actually stealing something, uh, which was set up in the backstory between. Uh, me and Laura, uh, well, uh, me and uh, Jem earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I think we, we still we still see, uh, and that's possibly let's sort of say that's on the on the table. We still got some of the swag from there. And if you didn't, if you'd uh, and if you've unpacked and looked at it, one of the other things you'll probably spot is is uh, uh, eagle-eyed readers would spot that there is uh, the grey ghosts uh, utility belt uh, there as well. In fact, the, the utility belt I'm wearing now is actually, I think, uh, that belt, and I, I just don't realise. Okay. Because I, I don't, I can't make it myself. I have to steal it from places. So I think that that's fine. Cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so look, um, I'm, I'm going to give. Uh, oh no, I'm going to hard frame it. I'm afraid, which is which yeah. you do spot. I think uh, uh, quiver. Um, that that is definitely uh, not your stepmom's, your mom's necklace uh, on the uh, the table, uh, and your dad's. Uh, um, uh, it, sorry, it's actually you don't wear it very often, but it's a Rolex that your dad gave you, and it's sort of sitting there on the table. Uh, uh, yeah, Quiver like approaches this and looks down, and and he's trying to like put that two and two together and it, and he's afraid to say it out loud, he's just like looking down at it. Uh, and he says, uh, you caught the, the, the team that broke into my house some time ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I caught this guy on the, the street, uh, didn't know what to do with it, didn't know who to return this to. Yeah. Yeah, that that's right. Oh, you yeah. How do you want I to think, frame that lie? <laughs> uh, I think uh, I'm using. Are you watching closely? Okay. Uh, when you mislead, distract, or trick someone, roll plus superior. Mm. And uh, that is a uh, seven. So uh, oh, on a seven, I choose two. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you confuse them for some time, uh, and I think I'm, I'm going to expose expose a weakness or a flaw. As as uh, uh, there's a whole lot, there's a whole lot of sh you know, he was carrying a whole lot of shit from uh, that was really dodgy. And I really had a chance to look into it, but uh, most of the stuff he had seems to come from all over the place. Mm. So you've you've exposed uh, um, you exposed I, a weakness of flaw. So there's something you've got in the in the evidence that you 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 want to. Well, is no, I'm, I think in this case we've been hinting that uh, that Quiver's father is actually involved in the criminal underworld, but mm -hmm. we've got no means to prove it. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm exposing that slightly to uh the quiver but i'm hinting at it mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, I, i'm i'm, I'm going to show all these mm -hmm. uh all these uh blueprints for uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh for uh for advanced kit and weapons that shouldn't be on the street and mm -hmm. and yeah circuitry and detonator chips and things like that that i, I got that i got off this guy yeah, and there's, there's like different passports with different identities, uh, and oh, uh, uh, do they all have a, Do they all have uh, his father's? Uh, well, do some of them have his father's picture in it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I see that this guy was targeting my dad quite, quite seriously. Wow, it's uh, it's it's cool that you got this, Steve. Yeah. And as one of the passports flips through your hand, uh, a card drops out, uh, and it is um, uh, it, it is a card that says on it uh, "White Rabbit," <clears throat> and then there is a number. You got you get to see that quiver. You're the one flipping yeah. through the passports, not me. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I suppose. Uh... Yes, yeah, since, since Quiver is so confused about it, he says, "Oh wow, look this! Look this! This guy you got had the number to the white rabbit." Yeah, it's a satellite phone number. Uh, really? 
if we can if we, if 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 we can track this phone, we can like uh, maybe capture him or track him again. That's wow, that's a lot of evidence. Uh, uh, I mean, do you mind if I just like take my my real mom's necklace back? It's like you know one of the yeah, human yeah. mentors. Yeah, by by all means, uh, please please do. Uh, so can I have a look at that card? Blue, yeah, sure. Bluebird sort of leans over and whispers into Nox's ear. Did Quiver get hit on the head? Does he does he not join the dots here? Uh. <laughs> I, I it's Quiver. <laughs> God knows. But yeah, yeah, I think you guys might, might realize that, that even if the face is, is right up there, he doesn't want to, his mind is, is, is rejecting that his dad can be anything bad. So he sort of says, Quiver, do you, do you think your dad knows your secret identity? I hope he doesn't. I, 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 I hope he doesn't. He, pro he would probably like tell me to stop doing it. And this is what I want to keep doing. Quiver, do you think there's any chance that your dad has uh, put a hit out on you without realizing it's you? Why would my dad put a hit on me? He's a businessman. He tries to, he's, like, his big plan is to, re to revitalize the neighborhood. Um, I think at this point, Quiver, sorry, sorry um, Bluebird sort of rubs her temples and, and takes out a, a, a vape stick and takes a t couple of deep puffs and looks at Oriflame and just sort of raises his shoulders going like... <laughs> <coughs> My dad is not some kind of like villain. He's a businessman. He runs a business. Yes, he's a businessman. Therefore. And it, it's amazing how much business he finds. Uh, I mean, all these damaged businesses, all these, uh, all the crime driving down the property rates. Don't you find that funny? That's really convenient. I, I mean... Do you think my dad is hiring those criminals to to do something? I don't know if he's hiring them, but he's certainly getting a benefit from them. Uh, I mean, I mean, I can go and ask him, but no, 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 don't, don't do that. But whatever you do, no, no, whatever you do, do not do that. But there is honesty in the family. I'm sure if I ask him, I no. Quiver, please, please, do not do that. Okay. Uh, I won't. You, you've, got, you've got access to the house. Just, just have a look around. Bluebird puts her hand on your shoulders and looks you straight in the eye, Quiver, and says, your dad's a bad guy, you thick fuck. <clears throat> do you want to punch someone you shouldn't? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Quiver take, takes a moment to like think it through, and then he just like, looks up at her and, and it's like a punch. And he says, nobody speaks bad about my dad. <laughs> uh, uh, and I look, I think that is the perfect uh, end panel to uh, flip the uh, last page in today's uh, issue on, right? As uh, um, Quiver has uh, uh, floored Bluebird. <clears throat> Okay. That was so much fun. <laughs> that was just so much fun. Uh, let, let's do the end of session moves, uh, folks. Um, and um, we'll go through in uh, character keeper order. Uh, we are missing, uh, obviously, a dynamic moment, but um, Nox, did you uh, uh, grow closer to the team, grow into your image of yourself, or grow away from the team? <coughs> um, I, I, um, I, I, I think that, um, the um, quiver's really like a flustered apology. Like I don't know. I think that really got to uh, to Knox. Uh, she didn't realize that someone cared that much. Uh, so 
I, I think that that was, yeah. Excellent. Uh, does Quiver already have influence uh, over you? I don't. Uh, then you gain influence. Uh, and that awesome. gain influence over Nox. Awesome. Uh, over Nox. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wanted to ask. Gem or Nox? Nox. It was Nox, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then across to Quiver, same question. Close to the team, image of yourself or away from the team? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was so much shifting over the over the over the, the this episode. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to say grow closer to the team because even though uh, he was foolhardy and he charged in and he and he and he and he wounded jammed. He was accepted back, and he really feels that he has like like good friends over here. Uh, so Jam made me feel welcome. Uh, I give her influence, and I mark potential. Excellent. Uh, so, so, so you can shift my labels because you already had influence over me, I believe. Mm -hmm. So I get to shift your Yeah, levels. that's that's right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so if it's okay with you, I think that I will uh, up your savior um, and then lower your freak. Sure. Yep. Awesome. Oriflame. Conversely, I think I've grown slightly away from the team after all those comforts and supports <laughs> uh, because I can't. I can't trust them to act in a way that's not going to get people hurt. And, and now uh, Quiver, <coughs> is, Quiver is linked to, uh, to this organized crime figure. And I, I'm just not sure how much I can trust Quiver at this point. So are you taking... Uh, I think I'm taking my influence, uh, Quiver's influence over me away. Okay. So, uh, Quiver, can you also uh, update your sheet as well and take that, uh, take that out? Okay. Dun dun dun. Look, let's do a let's do a round of uh, stars and wishes there, uh, folks, um, and uh, then we will draw that to a conclusion. Uh, that, that was great fun from my point of view. Um, uh, especially this time, because I've had like a roll of going recently. Well, the, the dice rolls have just gone success after success after success. When things start going wrong, does it become so much more fun for me and masks? But anyway, uh, look, stars, stars and wishes. Let's go in. Let's go in uh, reverse for stars, and then we'll come back for wishes. So let's celebrate on a star, and then go into wishes after that. So, Gerwin, what 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 was your your favourite bits today? I'd love seeing uh, Laura's. Uh, I love seeing uh, Jem's uh, relationship with his sister and uh, the whole family <coughs> dynamic going on there. And I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how that goes forward. Uh, the uh, as time passes, the start of the next session I think is going to be really interesting uh, to actually see how uh, that keeps up. And I'm I'm interested to see how it actually interferes with the with her life as a superhero. Mm -hmm. And yeah, huge stars for that. Powell, oh my god, I see. What the fuck is wrong, Quiver? <laughs> OC, I love it. I, I love just the fan. I, I said this the last time. I love the character that's the fanboy and it, uh, is uh, genre, genre aware. Genre aware. Uh, so yeah, uh, I, I love everything that you've done with Quiver this time. This person that's trying to actually be the hero that they, they see in the media. And uh, the the difference between what the media portrays and what real life is, and yeah, loving it. And uh, Will, uh, Will actually uh, the way that Will reacted during that fight, um, and the whole thing of actually uh, just stripping everything out of the building to actually uh, save us all, uh, I think was really a, a defining moment of heroic for the character. And I love it. Cool. Um, lovely. Uh, Pavel, should we do... Oh, sorry. And the sidekick comment from uh, Bluebird. Uh, I, uh... 
because I always forget to actually include the uh, G, uh, the MC in this stuff. <laughs> but just some of the reactions this time have been wonderful. Excellent. Cool. Um, Pavel, should we do you next? Any stars? Uh, yeah, uh, I really loved the uh, <coughs> jam scene in the, in the beginning, seeing this uh, baking of the of the sister and then throwing the egg at the dad. Uh, yeah, and I think we are really cool building to some moment of revealing who she is to someone. That would be really, really cool. Uh, I really like how how Oreo Flame is the, even though she's the delinquent, she is trying to be the reason in this in this team of in that in this team and and cool the beans of uh, of dynamic and uh, and quiver uh, it's really cool to see uh, yes i really liked uh, the the villains and how they acted and and how you frame the scenes david uh, yeah and i also really like my relationship with uh, with the word web dynamic how it is uh, developing and how we kind of uh, support each other I really liked how how he was uh, able to use my felt move and build it into his kind of success move, uh, and that was like really cool. Oh, so you should show this arrow. Let me know. I, I grab it. It works. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Lara. No stars all the way around. This was really fun. Um, I really love the way that Quiver is being played, I, it just makes me so happy. Um, it just, uh, I, I love the role playing and the way that you like just have totally encompassed the character. I think it's great. Um, Aura Flame's a big softy. She thinks that she's not, but she is. She's always trying to support and love people and I love it. It's awesome. Um, and then I, I really, I, I really enjoyed the, uh, the bluebird or a flame dynamic. Uh, it, it was just so, uh, <laughs> that made me laugh. Uh, the aggressive, uh, bullying each other into a date ideal. Um, I know. Yeah, this was just, this is just so great, David. Thank you for this. Uh, I had a great fun. I was just like, my, my stars uh, were, uh, you know, the, the, the opening scene over uh, Atheist Cookies, right? That was just uh, delightful and throwing an egg <laughs> at your, uh, at your, uh, your father. Uh, uh, <clears throat> awesome. I, I'll never, I'll never uh, I'll play with Robbie and, and not think of that again, right? That's going <laughs> to make me laugh. <laughs> Uh, the the I said the joy for me and masters if if I can almost do nothing in the middle of a game and just watch it all and that was definitely what happened when we were on the rooftop scene that was amazing yeah I'd also call out um, the aggressive uh, bluebird going on a date and we were on a date why are we on a date um, and 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 that scene at the end with, with Pavel I, I agree that everything Pavel has done uh, has been amazing but that scene at the end where you can see things <laughs> not wanting to to join the dots up, not really wanting to face it, I thought was just uh, delightful. I can't wait to see what happens uh, next there. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's go back in reverse order for wishes. Lara, any wishes for you? Um, I'm really excited to see uh, uh, like how, um, Quiver's dad figures into everything. Um, and I'm really excited for Quiver to have that realization that, oh my God, what's going on? Um, yeah. So we're going to see what's happening with Quiver's dad. Pavel, any wishes? Mm, it was so cool. Uh, nothing, nothing's on my mind right now. Uh, I'll write it over over the time as I have time to think about it. No problem at all. Go in. Uh, I want to see the, uh, the I'm going to say the aftermath, but I think the fallout from the date. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, also, uh, I I'd like to have a scene with my uh, with Oriflam's mother at some point. Uh, because uh, we, we haven't yeah. actually had them interact yet. I think uh, I think that makes uh, <clears throat> uh, I think 
that makes perfect sense. Um, awesome. Uh, and I'm looking forward uh, to uh, seeing uh, Jem's home life when she finally goes uh, and we see Jem's mother for the first time uh, and figure out how totally angry Kitty is that she's uh, left her on her own to face this. Uh, that's going to be uh, great fun. <clears throat> Uh, two uh, final panels to sort of frame uh, next time on. Uh, we can see the uh, the monkey wearing the bandana, uh, and uh, they're in a uh, they're in a pet shop, uh, and all of the cages are open, and we see the monkey with uh, an animal army behind them. Uh, and then uh, looking around, the uh, we're in we're in uh, Kilgrave's. Uh, sort of their, their townhouse and Kilgrave is in his office looking at the plans for the city uh, and we see uh, the furry black cat that we saw at the last episode uh, circling around their feet. <clears throat> uh, and